Hello everyone, this is JBR3 Collector doing my top 10 legends of 2019 video. Um, it's going to be hard to do because you can see there's 18 figures here. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to go over some honorable mentions, some figures I'm really happy that we got this year and narrow it down to my top 10. I'm going to try to do it all in one take. I might have some cuts here and there, but we'll see. So starting with honorable, honorable mentions, we have Grey Gargoyle. While technically Grey Gargoyle is a really ve uh, very basic figure, uh, it's a character I've wanted for a long, long time in Legends. I think he was number three on my most wanted, my, char my most wanted characters to appear in the Marvel Legends line last year. And now we got him, we got him this year. And he was, he was mostly well done. He has a really nice cape. His cape is perfect for his character. Real good head sculpt. That lollipop syndrome is really bad on him though. Um, not the worst we've seen this year. Loki has the, that worst has takes the record for that. But um, I liked his feet and his hands. Only thing I wish I w would have been better was if he wasn't so translucent looking, because he's stone. So that's what really brought him down for me. Um, but still, great figure. Uh, really happy to have him. He's honorable mention though. Another honorable mention is Nighthawk. Nighthawk was my number one most wanted character to appear in the Marvel Legends line for multiple years in a row. And we finally got him. Um, well, he's a very basic figure. You know, his head sculpt could be better. It's very basic. I, I like that they gave him new forearms on this Bucky Cat body. The, the claws, while not looking very sharp, they, I mean, they're accurate to the character. Um, it's just a good... He's just a, I'm just really happy to own this figure. He's not the best figure in the world. He's honestly pretty mediocre, but this is a character I really love and was really happy to finally get. And I love this guy's cape. This guy's cape came out perfect. Him and Grey Gargoyle like both have the two of the coolest capes in comics, and they both came out really, really, really great. So that's why they're on my list. Um, basic figures. No, no new sculpt overall, but new new parts. So, really, really awesome. Really happy to have them. Next honorable mention is going to be Craven. Craven again, like pretty basic. Mostly just mostly a repaint with a new belt and a new head and a new hand. But otherwise, exactly the same as the, as the last Craven, other than paint. And but it's just this head sculpt alone is just so good. It's just such a great head sculpt that I had to put it on my honorable mention list. Craven, this figure just looks fantastic. Only problem I really have with him are these fat ankles. They look really bad. I mean, this this body mold always has fat ankles, but it looks really evident on. Craven because of the human skin tone so but otherwise fantastic figure really brings life brings more life to the to, to the spider-man shelf I like the painted hair on his chest there it's just it's a really cool really, really great figure another honorable mention I think it's uh, three down we have to take eight honorable mentions out of here so it's gonna be gambits Ooh. Oh, he dropped his bow staff. Gambit. Well, this Gambit figure is fantastic. He got an all brand new sculpt for his body. Um, all brand new sculpt for his legs. He's greatly articulated. I like his head sculpt. There's just... There's just so many other figures that came out this year that were even better than Gambit. And it's hard, it's hard to believe that. His hair could be better, you know, but... I, I like these these jackets. I like these rubber jackets. It's, it's good for Gambit. It's just there's just so much other good stuff that came out this year that uh, Gambit just couldn't make the top ten. But he definitely deserves it. He's a really really fantastic figure. Um, and great job to Hasbro on making this guy. I'll mention number five. Sorry if I'm going too too in depth on this, but is the Juggernaut. Only reason Juggernaut is number is honorable mention is because we already had a Juggernaut. 
We had, had a great Juggernaut. This one's just better. That's that's the only reason. I think Juggernaut was number one on my list in 2016, I believe. Um, so this one's you know really high up again as well. But he just has to be on our mention because you know he's basically the same figure, just better color, better head, better accessories, but still an amazing figure. And you gotta have this juggernaut on your shelf. Now it gets harder. I have three more honorable mentions to go over. And there's so many good figures on this collection here. But um, next is gonna be Colossus. This Colossus is the best Colossus figure we've ever had. But he's still not. Perfect. You have to do some modification on him to make it better. I haven't done it yet. I'm waiting on the parts. But um, these fat, these fat, fat uh, forearms makes it really, really difficult to uh, have him to to you know put him in the top ten. And these really ugly looking feet, like these little bumps and stuff on his feet. It's just it brings him down. But He's still a fantastic figure. He's still the best Colossus we've ever had. And once I sw switch his feet and his arms, he's gonna, he's gonna be top ten worthy. But but he can't be top ten worthy if he's um, a modified figure. So so there we go. That's uh that's Colossus there for you. I just realized I was halfway into recording the video and I forgot to have Havoc up here. Um, so Havoc because I forgot about him, he obviously couldn't be that great, right? So he's going on the honorable mentions list. But he's fantastic. I was really surprised when I got this figure that um, that he beat. I prefer over my custom that I got from my friend Glenn. I really did not think I would like this figure better, and I did. So that alone makes him worthy to be on this list because that was my favorite custom I had in my entire collection, and this figure beat it. So that by itself makes this a must-have figure for me my top 10 list only thing i wish is he had the same quick problem as colossus the fat forearm thing but his is easier to hide if you just put some cuffs on there but man great great fantastic figure really looks great really like his head sculpt really love his jacket this is a fantastic fantastic figure and probably would have been in my top 10 if i didn't forget about him <laughs> next is Hercules. How many more do we have left here? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, two more honorable mentions. Hercules is honorable mention only because of his costume choice. He has a great, great sculpt for his upper body here. This is a body I wish they would use more often now. Um, just because, you know, for, for really, really buff guys that are this size, this body is, this body mold's pretty pretty perfect o only way he would have been higher is if he was his classic costume so um which i'm getting custom done of so he'll be that figure would be on this list if it was a real figure but this figure is just fantastic looking this is one of the great one of the best um anatomical sculpts on marvel legend especially on this size that type of body same size as hyperion body basically that's perfect. The height, the scale on Hercules, spot on. Just, it's just a fantastic figure, and he would have been top ten if it wasn't for this body, this costume choice. Because I'm not, a, I'm not a modern figure fan, I'm a modern costume fan, modern comics fan in general. But um, this figure is just great. And the last honorable mention of 2019. 80 years Captain America this figure is amazing but he gets brought down for a couple reasons one they gave him that that flat small cape I have a different cape on him I have the the, the older ones from the Return to Marvel Legends series um, with the actual raised um, sculpted texture here and it's slightly bigger and looks better um, the paint is not too gray on cap but my main reason for giving him honorable mention only is i mean while he's spot on to alex ross's art which is great which that's what he's supposed to do in order for him to be my top 10 he would have 
have to be a different color. Um, a lighter blue, maybe the same kind of blue that Beast is over here. Maybe a slightly darker, but oh, he just this is not the color blue I like Captain America to be. So that's the only reason he's really on this on a bunch on the honorable mention list rather than the top ten because his his scale mail is awesome. It's great to finally have a good Captain America. We've never had a good Captain America from Marvel Legends. I was never a fan of Face Off. Um, I had a great custom that my friend Glenn made. This figure is better. Um, yeah, it's, so it's just it sucks that he's not on my top ten. But I had to. There's so many good figures this year. He had to not. He had to be kicked off. But if he is a different color blue. He'd definitely be up here with these other guys. Let me just make sure there's ten here. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay. Here we are, at number ten. And this is hard. Number ten is Professor Xavier. Only for the reason, you know, I like Xavier, I like the X-Men. I'm more of an 80s X-Men fan than a 90s X-Men fan, so the hover chair, I mean, it's cool and oh, it's great to have, and I, lo I really do love it. And I, I mean, I love the 90s X-Men as well, but I just need, I really needed a good Xavier. The Toy Biz one was not holding up anymore. Um, and this thing, I mean, he looks great. It's just he's a ba he's you know a basic guy in a suit. His hover chair is what really gets is what really gets him onto this list. So because of that, he's number ten. Still fantastic. Still amazing. Still a must have Marvel Legend figure. So definitely a top ten worthy, and I'm glad to have it. Number nine. This is where it gets tough because I really got got to choose wisely here number nine is going to be the kingpin all this figure is amazing and he's spot on to how kingpin should look um he's i just i gotta do my go by character preference and i don't know and it's really hard all these figures could be number one oops I'll pick that up. <laughs> all these figures could be number one. So that's the, the hard part about this. Because these are all spot on perfect representations of these characters. So to put Kingpin this low is just honestly his character preference now. Um, the only way I would have preferred him would be, you know, the little classic looking like purple or uh, striped pants or, but anyways, this is still perfect as he is. So, and I was really happy to finally finish this guy. Thanks to my friend Brock, uh, sent me this head sculpt, sent me the head cat, the, the head. Uh, I did, I built most of Kingpin back in like January and didn't have his head until like October. So finally got Kingpin finished and he's really totally worth it. He's a great fi figure. Just not the most articulated in the world, but he's kingpin. You don't really need to. He just needs to stand there on the shelf look menacing. So that's what he's great for. That's what he's good for to do. So perfect figure. Great. Great choice for a top for number nine on this list. Number eight is one of them that fell over. It's Storm. This this is you know, this is most people's perfect storm uh figure i again i would have preferred a um 70s storm the first appearance storm but this is just amazing figure and she, as you see she's the only female figure on this list because she was so well done so much so much unique sculpting on this figure i love that they chose the white i'm a big fan of i like the i i'm on the boat that she's that her costume is white some people think she's some people think it's black some people think it's silver i go for white and I think it's perfect how it is. And only thing I would have changed, I don't like these um fabricy things. I wish you came with plastic or rubber um cape things. So I will take if I want to get the toy biz the toy biz ones and put those on here, it'll make it even better. But she's just a great figure. And really a really must have for your nineties X Men collection. So that was number eight. Number seven is Silver Samurai. Silver Samurai is just a huge shock um, because he came in the retro wave. And the retro series are usually just 
just repaints and um this is definitely not a repaint this is a totally brand new totally unique sculpt that i cannot see being used for anybody else ever again and silver samurai is a character that everyone's wanted in marvel legends for years and years and years and it's just amazing that he's finally we finally have him he's finally here and and he's pretty spot on i mean his scale is great his the silver is great. I mean, it could be better on, on this part and the in this part, but that's a real easy, easy fix. So, again, just a fan, another fantastic figure, and it's it's so I feel like I'm just repeating myself over and over, but because these are all great figures that could all be number be number one, but Silver Samurai, Silver Samurai just deserves this this this, re, this really high ranking here. Fantastic figure, definitely recommend getting it this year if you're an X Men fan or some Marvel fan in general. Just you gotta get Silver Samurai. He's he's he looks he just looks amazing on the shelf. See now we're down to the final six, I believe. The beast fell on the floor. Let's see, we got two, four, six here. We got two X Men, four Avengers, and a and a villain. Who's gonna be next? Um, and this is tough. This is real. This is really getting tough. Um, I'm gonna go with Beast. Beast here is gonna be number six on my list, and it's really hard to put him this low because he's an amazing, amazing figure, and he's so well done. His butterfly sculpt's amazing. I love. The, I love this head sculpt. Um. I love how poseable he is, and Hasbro really made some changes, some big changes with this figure, you know, to the articulation style, and, oh man, it's just, he just destroys the, the old Toy Biz one, but, uh, just, I don't know, there's something, I'm just going by character preference now, maybe, I don't know, I really can't explain why I'm putting Beast at number six, other than the fact that these other figures, I just, like more um but this this figure is really is perfect for beast i mean he could have come with another alternate head with not a screaming mouth but for the cover of jim lee uh, x-men number one this is this is a perfect representation of that so i'm sure they're going to release him again with another head or in a retro wave or something but for me this is this is perfect beast um a lot of these figures are perfect representation representations we got them all this year and I'm just really happy to finally have a beast to put on my 90s X-Men shelf. And again, this list probably would change day to day. Like, you know, there might be some day when Beast is number one or Beast is number four, or, you know, so, but he definitely deserves to be on this list for sure. And it's, I think he was on my, I think he was my number one choice for Legends earlier this year. So, um, but these guys came out and I just love them more. So, next. Whew. Next is going to be Mr. Sinister. The other day I made I made this list to my friends. Mr. Sinister was number two on my list. Um, but right now he's number five. Um, he's just perfect. It, the Toy Biz Mr. Sinister was a great, great figure. That was one Toy Biz figure I really did think it would never be beat. It's never a huge fan of Toy Biz Beast, Toy Biz Nightcrawler, all the, the favorites, Toy Biz Face Off Hulk, but um, Toy Biz Mr. Sinister was really, really, really perfect, and I really, oh, I thought it was anyway, especially after I did the cape modification to make it look more like this cape, but this came out, and it just, it just destroyed it, man. Um, the sculpt on this, totally brand new, totally unique, you know. All 100% new sculpt. His head sculpt is just so evil looking. His his cape, while flat, I mean it's kind of supposed to be. I mean it's 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 really really good looking, and he really brings a lot to my X Men collection shelf here. And um, yeah, there's just nothing that I can, not not good things I can say about all these figures here. I'm just gonna keep repeating myself over and over. But I'm telling you, he was number two on my list a couple days ago. He's number five now. Just 
because I don't know. Again, all this this whole top ten, especially the top six, can be rearranged in any in any uh, position and all be the best figure of the year, you know. But I just love Mister Sinister. He's my favorite X Men villain, so he made it this high, and he's a great, fantastic looking figure. Number four is Nightcrawler. I can't remember I put Nightcrawler this low, but he's a fantastic figure. He has three different head sculpts. Um, his tail his ta his tail sculpt, while not bendy, not bendy wire, um, it just looks fantastic. I mean. I just don't, I don't even know what to say anymore about Sonic without repeating myself. But you know this this character was he, you know people he was he was highly regarded as the best Toy Biz uh, figure for a long time, and I never really had a great um, love for him. I, I hated the head sculpt on him, so I thought it would be easy for Hasbro to redo it. And Hasbro way exceeds my expectations on making him better than his Toy Biz. And you know he's not crazy sculpted. He's not, you know, the best painted, but he's just a fantastic figure. Super, super great articulation, super smooth, super good looking. I love all three of his head sculpts. That's very rare for me to like all three head sculpts from a figure. Um, his his height is perfect. He's a, he's shorter than he's shorter than most people. Still slightly taller than Wolverine. It's just he's a must have. It's really it really is a must have Marvel Legend here and. If you're an X Men fan, especially, you gotta have this Nightcrawler. Uh, he's this is there's nothing that can there's no Nightcrawler figure that comes even close to this, um, and he's one of my favorite X Men. Colossus is my favorite. The Colossus didn't make this top ten. Nightcrawler did. So <laughs> there we go. Fantastic. Really happy to have it. Number three, I'm going to give it to. Iron Man. Iron Man is this is this is the perfect Iron Man. I mean, we've been waiting since Marvel Legends Series One to have a good looking Iron Man <laughs> because that first original, the first classic Iron Man was really really ugly, and then Hasbro redid it, and that one looked good but was super tiny, and now this one comes and it's perfect. It's the perfect height. The perfect size. I mean, it's. I mean, could it be better? Yeah, maybe this could be more metallic. This could be more yellow. But I love it. It's you know, and only reason he's number three is because of that um that issue with the uh, bicep being on it. You know, backwards. But it doesn't bother me that much. It's not that obvious, so it doesn't really. Care. I don't really care. He's just a. He just really stands out on my shelf and he really brings a lot to my X-Men collect to my uh, Avengers collection. I'm a bigger Avengers fan than I am X-Men. That's uh, you know, might be a little biased, but you have to be a little biased on your top 10 top 10 list, you know. Um it's it's just, I guess really cannot say good enough good things. I'm really happy to have this Iron Man figure. I've wanted a good Iron Man for so many years and now with this guy coming out and being so perfect, I want them to go back and redo all the Iron Mans. Some people might might hate to hear that, but most Iron Man figures are really, really underscaled, and they can all be this level of good. You know, this scale, this mouth detail and articulation perfection. I would love that. I want give me a Silver Centurion, give me a modular, give me another, give me a new Extremist, give me a new War Machine. Like this is the pinnacle of Iron Man figures right here, and I'm so so happy to have it. Number two is Thor. Oh man, this is Thor. Same thing with Iron Man. We've always had issues with Thor figures. They've always either been too big or too small. Giant Man Series Thor, great looking sculpt. Way too small. Series 3, series three Thor, way too beefy and ugly looking. Hasbro Return of Marvel Legends Thor. Great looking figure, great costume way too way too big I can I can have one right here to compare show comparison of the size between the previous stores and 
And this guy just... It's just crazy how oversized Thor figures were for a long time. And now this guy comes along. He's almost a whole head shorter. Like, this thing comes along and it is spot on perfect Thor. I never thought we would have, in the same year even, the, finally have a perfect scaled Iron Man and a perfectly scaled Thor. And here it is. And Thor is my, my favorite Avenger. Um, at least today he is. <laughs> it changes the whole time. But he's just very, very perfectly sculpted. His head sculpt is great. I love all the detail on his uh in his abs here. Um he has he reuses the Hercules arms, his boots spot on. I I gave him the Marvel Select Thor hammer. That's the one problem I have with him is his hammer is too small. But it's also accurate too at the same time. So again, this Thor is amazing and he he's been he's been back and forth between number one, number two, you know, off and on, but I just, I just can't say enough good things about this Thor. You have to get this Thor figure. He is amazing. He's perfect. And I hope they reuse this body for a Thunderstrike, for a, um, a, uh, um, Eric Masterson Thor, give him a beard. Um, hell, they could reuse it for Airwalker. I mean, I just think this Thor is fantastic. And I really am happy that we finally got a good Thor figure. The number one, no surprise, it's 80 years, two-pack Hulk. We got this figure re-released three times this year in different color schemes, different head sculpts. I have the Grey Hulk. I didn't get the San Diego Comic-Con Hulk. Didn't really care about that look. But this Hulk is fantastic. Um, the different shades of green in him, the different, you know... The this the head sculpt he's so perfectly eighties seventies eighties Thor I mean Hulk seventies eighties Hulk I'm talking about Thor again I got my mic confused it's I can't say enough good things I've already said it multiple times but man this is this body mold is perfect for Hulks and I hope they reuse it again for a Red Hulk in the future um, so I'm sure they will but it's just I just really cannot believe it. You know, we got all these great figures this year. Um, and they could all, again, they could all switch off being number one. But for some reason, this Hulk just, just, ha just for some reason, screams to me that he has to be number one. Um, I think most people would agree that this is one of their favorite legends of the year. This head sculpt is perfect. It's very similar to the face-off Hulk, which is everyone's favorite Hulk. But this is just better articulated, better colored. This is my per this is my favorite coloring for the Hulk. This light, this neon green type of color, not neon, but um, the more lime green colored Hulk. It just I I love it. I just really can. I'm just gushing over this figure. It's it's it really deserves to be top number four, number one on this list, and all these figures deserve to be on this list. It may be my own, maybe some of my honorable mentions shouldn't make maybe Nighthawks. Some people might disagree about Nighthawk and Grey, 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 Grey Gargoyle and all them. But I'm sure most people will agree that this top 10 is, they're all well-deserved. And I'm pretty sure Hulk of all is the most well-deserved to be a number one on this list here. Only only issue would be if his butterfly joints went forward. But then that would ruin this great sculpt we got here and. I don't really care. I don't. I, I'm not in the boat of being everything. These butterfly joints. I don't. I'm not. I'm not in that kind of boat. But I mean, they while they help. I mean, it would have been nice to have him go a little bit forward. But I mean, he he can still do all of his Hulk poses. And it's not. Like I'm just rambling here. But you have to get this figure if you don't have it. Okay, that's simple as that. So that was my top ten list of 2019. Um, Hopefully 2020 keeps giving us great, great figures. Um, and I'm sure they, I'm sure we will continue to have fantastic Marvel Legends for a few, for a few more years here. And I just, it's just amazing how much great stuff has came out this year. And I, I don't buy very many other toy lines, so. Um, 
So I can't really do a top 10 figures of the year, because if I did, they'd mostly be Marvel Legends. So this is probably going to be my only top 10 list of the year. I might do a top 5 for other lines. But um, yeah, Marvel Legends, fantastic, fantastic year. I'm really just blown away by the amount of... Like most of the figures on this list have brand new, brand new body molds. Every figure in this picture here has a brand new body mold. Storm, brand new body mold. Hercules, brand new body mold. Like this is a huge year for Legends. You know, getting getting all these new retooled bodies, these new sculpts. It's it's amazing. I just it's mind blowing that this is happening. Now, I'm just rambling now at this point. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, please like the video, comment comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. 